Ahoy there! We made it! Today is one year since we first saw this property and we came for a visit and this is what we found. So back in November I made some recording that I didn't actually edit into a video about uh, how flimsy this shed is. And I have to say that there are very mixed feelings about that. It's quite flimsy. This is all plastic, even though they say it's unbreakable. I don't believe them. Uh, the main problem is it's not really built for this kind of environment. Uh, the top, like it's not watertight, right? So because of the heavy rain here, it, uh, it just the water goes through. Yeah, it's 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 like you know it moves quite easily the whole thing. I am really nervous every time I read in the weather report that it's like 100 kilometer wind here. So I mean 100 kilometer an hour. So yeah, we will see how that goes. Today we only have a few hours left before it gets dark and tomorrow we are leaving. Oh, uh, I don't know, I would probably just uh, take the white tarp and spread it more on that stuff in the back. <laughs> this stuff is still hanging and I should probably put something across just so that the the rest of the roof doesn't collapse. So here we can see the damage, this beam here just split, it was not even connected so it's not something that uh, we would have done wrong, there is nothing here that would show something falling on, so this clearly collapsed under its own weight, maybe a little bit of snow, maybe some wind, either way this shed was clearly not made for Canada and uh, we are definitely going to talk to Home Depot about getting a refund. It's actually listed on uh, Home Depot website as virtually undestructible so I don't know what they were, were referring to. Uh, underneath that tarp is uh, the tractor and it, it has the roll bar in the back and the steering wheel seems to be intact so hopefully there is no damage but uh, we don't have the tool or the material to start fixing it up so um, for today we have no other option than just uh, leave it uh, the way it is and come back uh, in a week or two weather permitting and then uh, start fixing it up i think the plan here would be just uh, take all the things out drive out the tractor and uh, we'll probably bring one of those uh, garage in the shed like the the um, shelter logic little garage thingy and move it there it won't be perfect um, yeah but it is what it is uh, let's have more look outside 
So here I am outside of the shed. If I go, I'll go here again. No, there is no, not even anything that would show that it bounced off and uh, dropped on the ground here. There is absolutely no debris near the shed. I guess uh, <clears throat> my wife was right when she was really, really unhappy with uh, the sturdiness of the thing when we were building it. She was skeptical immediately about how this might hold see here you can see how it's completely bent out now the question is with no structure connecting the sides is it going to fall apart in the next few weeks well as i said there isn't anything i can do about this let's close this door Ready to go home.